Greetings, welcome to this short video regarding how to fit a full flow oil system to a VW air cooled engine. Basically the fundamentals of what you're trying to achieve here is pump oil from the oil pump out of the oil pump with a face plate over to a remote fil fuel, uh, oil filter and then back into the case into this drilled tapping here. Many VW cases look a little bit different, however it's easy to work out which one you need to drill to get back into the main oil gallery. It's the one that runs along this channel here. Straight into the oil pump where there is a hole. Right, you can see that there's a hole there that was the return to the back to the engine from the oil pump. What you do is basically drill and tap the oil pump, put a plug in it so the oil doesn't flow up that hole. It flows out of the faceplate into the filter back into the case, into this tapped hole here, and back into the engine sump. What you need to do this is quite simple. You need the following. You will need a 3 8 BSP tap. You will need a quarter inch NPT tap. You will need a 3 8 BSP to 3 8 rubber pipe tail, or a 3 8 BSP to AN10 connector. You will need a quarter inch NPT brass plug and a 15.5 millimeter drill to drill the case and an oil pump takeoff plate. Fundamentally first is to drill out that hole there. 15.5 millimeter drill. There's a plug, aluminium plug in that casing. You can drill through that and drill a very straight square hole into the case. You need to go at least three quarters of an inch. Um, any further than that is unnecessary because most tails are only half inch, five eighths long. Secondly, what you need to do is you need to drill and tap the oil pump so that you can fit a plug to stop the oil pump pumping oil back into the engine. Here is a typical oil pump. There are two holes on it. One is the flow, one is the return. It's the flow, that, that's the large hole, is the flow back to, into the oil pump. What you're doing is drilling and tapping the smaller hole in order to block it off so that it pumps oil out of the face plate to your filter. This first hole over here requires the 15.5mm drill. You drill very carefully and slowly into the case. Don't use any lubricant. It will, it will not help your job. It will just eat very slowly and quite quickly if you, too, if you put too much pressure, but just drill it extremely squarely. Get a friend to sit, sit one side of you to make sure that you don't go wandering off, but get it square and drill a three quarter inch deep hole into the case. Then what you need to do is tap it with the 3 8 BSP tap. Do it by hand. The easiest way of doing it is to use just a normal adjustable. Start it slowly, make sure it's square. Keep going until you've got at least half inch, three quarters of an inch of depth. You can do this with a case built. It's not advisable, but if you get a hoover and there's not too much oil around, you will get all the bits and pieces out. But it's not advisable. It's advisable to do it with the case stripped. After that, you need to get return to the oil pump. This does not need drilling out. This hole is suitable for the, straight away for a quarter inch NPT tap. This one here. This tap will go straight through that hole without pre-drilling. Again, keep it square. Ensure that you don't wander off or it's not bent, but it'll, it'll get a very good friend to look at the angles to make sure that, that goes in square. It's, it's a little bit awkward because the pump is not that easy to get square. But once, as you can see, the angle of it. But once you've got that hole square and tapped it, that is ready for the small plug. This small plug here will fit straight into that hole He says, 
difficult to do while you're holding the phone but that will screw into that hole and you need to screw that all the way in a bit of sealer is, is a useful item but that will go all the way in so that there's nothing protruding on this face you need to make sure that it doesn't protrude on that face so it fits into the case snugly and you also need to make sure that your plug that you buy does not come out past the threads in the bottom of the pump once done you can then fit your 3 8 BSP tail or whichever type you want whether it's an AN10 tail or a normal 3 8 straight like this this is just a trial one I'm going to actually put an AN10 um, swivel elbow on here so that the pipe will come out of here this 3 8 inch pipe is the best for oil flow better than a half inch and better than five eighths so that's three eighths rubber AN10 approved pipe you can then seal that PTFE tape that that will taper itself in any way so you don't really need any sealer but the best thing to do is to make sure you don't have any oil leaks you then need to fit your pump which I'll just trial now obviously with the now now blocked off return uh, flow fitted plug fitted followed by your takeoff plate and there we have it quite simple needs a bit of care needs a bit of thought but mainly by the right by the right bits hope that was useful thank you bye